You've probably seen this scenario. A coworker is 10 minutes late to work, then they go to their computer and spend 10 minutes on Facebook and Twitter, drift over to the coffee pot and talk with another coworker before finally starting to work an hour after they were supposed to be there. If you've seen it happen, you've probably seen that person uh, disappear, not be around for very much longer. It's obvious that that person is not punctual, prepared, or organized. And I think the main reason it's critical is because other people judge you by those standards. And not because you're not getting the job done necessarily. If you're a few minutes late, it's the, it's the, it's the look that you give to everybody else in the room. If you're in a banker, if you're an engineer, whatever it might be, when you look unprepared, or when you come in late, or you come in messy, and un, you, you, you give off a persona of being unprepared, which gives off a persona of being unprofessional. Customers' time, as all of our time, is very important. And if you make a commitment to be there on an appointment with a customer, or be in your teller window, or at a customer service desk when a customer walks in, that's critical, because if you're not there, that's gonna send the message that we don't have care or concern and are not professional and that's how you lose customers. So that's extremely important. And I'm one of those people, if I'm on time, I'm late. And uh, I just think it's really important if the meeting starts at eight o'clock that I should be there at 10 till to get prepared, to have everything I need. And um, how can I, if, I, if I'm having a meeting and I show up at 10 after 8 and I say, oh my gosh, I forgot my notes, I forgot, oh, does anybody know? What, what are we talking about, oh my gosh? What kind of message am I sending to everybody else? Well, let's put in perspective, like if you're in charge of a meeting and you schedule it for a certain time and you don't show up, all right, what does that do to attendees in the meeting? And then the other thing is being organized for that meeting. If you walk in, you don't have an agenda, you don't have a plan, that meeting is probably going to fail. And especially if you're trying to promote an initiative or make a presentation and you don't, you don't come out on time, you're not organized with it, then you may not get what you're looking for. Another example, going to the board of directors. You may have to do a pre presentation to the board of directors. If you're not prepared, that could be a, could affect your career because they're looking at you as like, okay, we have this person in this position to do this job, but they can't even be organized when they're making a presentation. Be on time, be prepared, and be ready to go when you get there. All of that sounds simple, doesn't it? So why don't people do it? Well, just like all of these standards, it's becoming a lost art. However, it is still something employers prefer. When you show up to work early, you are prepared to work when you arrive and you're organized. Your employers will notice that when it's time for you to get advances and raises sooner than your coworkers. <music>